everything's starting to slow down for me a little bit. You know, when we first got to camp, it was kind of the same thing as OTAs, you know, just trying to get out there and, you know, play as fast as I can. But I was still trying to get used to the speed of the game and, um, you know, making all the right calls, making all the mic IDs and knowing my progressions. But now, you know, I'm kind of coming into it and it's, uh, you know, it slowed down a lot for me. You know, yesterday I really felt it, you know, just going out there. And it's just like playing, playing football all over again. Um, so it's, it's slowing down for me a lot. How, how long into camp was it when you really started to feel a little more comfortable with that? Uh, a, a few days ago, about two, uh, two, three days ago. And I think I felt more comfortable than you know I did ever since I you know came to mini camp, OTAs, and training camp. So, so when you go into Thursday night's game, what do you try to focus on you know, working on out there? You know, just just making plays. You know, going out there, executing the offense. You know, getting the guys in and out of the huddle, you know, getting to the line of scrimmage, no delay game penalties, and, you know, just executing the plays, you know, going out there, playing fast. Um, you know, obviously it's going to be first first time live since, you know, college, so it's going to be it's gonna be fun out there, you know, just have a lot of fun and, um, you know, make plays. You talked in June about feeling comfortable with the system and knowing kind of the concepts. Have there been things you've done or seen down here that surprised you or, or maybe you weren't expecting? Not really. Um, you know, there's just some different you know intricacies you know with the offense from from Notre Dame to here but you know it's pretty pretty similar um, I'd say it's about 85 80 percent similar but at the same time there's different reads um, different calls you got to make different mic IDs so you know just those little things um, you know getting used to and you know at, at Notre Dame I played for three years there so it's it's kind of you know hard breaking those those old habits but you know I'm starting to starting to get to that point to me, it's something you dream about your whole life. I mean, it's finally here, getting an NFL game. How exciting is that? Oh, it's it's going to be great. Um, you know, my parents are coming out uh, tomorrow night um, to watch me play. So, you know, it'll, it would be a lot of fun out there. Have they told you when you're going to play? No, not yet. They haven't said anything. Is that kind of unusual? I mean, because you and Hunter have been kind of going back and forth, rotating around with the twos. Is it does it change anything? I know one day or the next what it's going to be. Not really. You know, like I. I've always said, you know, you can only control what you can control, and that's just going out each and every day, practicing hard, getting better, and, you know, who knows, you know, if Hunter's going to play first, if I'm going to play first, if Tony's going to play first, you know, whenever whenever our name gets called, you got to go out there and perform. You got the hat on today. You don't have a Tebow haircut under there, do you? No, no, I don't. I don't have, <laughs> have a Tebow haircut under there. <laughs> kind of glad you escaped that. <laughs> no, they, they haven't really you know, been been too bad or, or done anything to us yet. Okay. So we'll see. Yeah. Is that a yet, or are you just kind of crossing your fingers that something's not around the corner? <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what, what's up their sleeve, but, you know, it's all, it's all fun games. It, does it help in the learning process being part of a young group? I mean, Tony's a rookie, Hunter's first year, you know, second year guy, mm -hmm. Matt's still young. Does that help the learning process? Um, You know, it, it does to some extent, but... It, you know, to another extent, you, you kind of want to learn from, you know, an older guy. And, you know, Matt's done a great job with that. You know, obviously he's he's had limited playing time, but he's been in the league for four years, five years. Hunter's been in for one. So, you know, he's Matt's been around the block, you know, with um, two, two teams, and he, he's learned a lot. So, you know, just learning from Matt and, you know, having him – be there as the older guy to help us out, you know, it really helps us a lot. Anything specific you picked up just from watching Matt and, and listening to him meetings, that kind of thing? You know, we were watching tape yesterday um, together on Baltimore, and he was just telling me, you know, the difference between practice and game is, you know, way different because it's it's a lot slower. You know, when you're, when you're practicing against your own guys, they see you every single day, so they can disguise coverages as late as they want. And he said, you know, that, that's what they do when we're in practice, but you know, once you get into a game, they're going to have to, you know, show their hand to you. So, you know, I, I think that's an advantage for us. You know, practice is going to be definitely harder than the game. So, you know, that's one of the, one of the little things that, you know, he's taught me. Jimmy, I mean, D'Angelo was talking the other day. He says, you know, a lot of the national people, all they want to talk about is Jimmy Clausen, you know, and, <laughs> and he says not everybody else. Is that hard for you to, I mean, when there's so much attention on you to, you know, to kind of put that aside and fit in with the guys and, and just say, hey, I'm just... One of the guys. You know, that's that, that's what I you know do is you know I'm just one of the guys and um, you know that, that's what I try to do with everything you know have lunch with the guys you know we were just downstairs you know playing a little basketball tournament in the locker room but just hanging out with the guys you know and just being one of the guys is you know what, what I'm here to do.